It's Confident Computing, number 814. What to do with that old computer you've been given. Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com where I've been answering your tech questions and handing out my tech advice since 2003. This week's newsletter has a couple of really interesting articles that I hope you'll enjoy. So a few weeks ago, I described how I purchased a new machine for both my wife and for a close family friend. What I didn't say was what I did with the old ones. It's important, regardless of how you get a used second hand or hand-me-down machine, to do the right things. Those right things depend on, well, the machine itself, of course, what your intent is and what resources you might have available. I describe all this and what I did in What to do with an old computer you've been given, what I did with mine. Also this week, <laughs> about blank. So this is an update to an article that I've had on the site for years. And unfortunately, about blank just doesn't get the respect that it deserves. Not that it deserves a lot of respect, but it definitely doesn't deserve some of the maligning statements that people seem to continue to make about it. About blank, for example, is not malware. And yet everybody seems to think it is and they want to, quote unquote, get rid of it. It's not something you get rid of. In fact, not only is it built into your browser for specific situations, it's actually often useful. I'll show you how in what is about blank and how do I get rid of it, why it's not malware and how you can use it. And, you know, I get this question from time to time. It's kind of funny. Um, I'm 62. When somebody comes to me at age 55 and says, are they too old? You know what I'm going to say. You just do. But this is an important article, I think, for a lot of different reasons, even if you're not necessarily over the age of 55. Because more important than your age is something else. In fact, it was exactly that something else that I was looking for back in the day when I was interviewing potential engineers at Microsoft. I discuss exactly what that is, why age doesn't matter as much as you think, and why you shouldn't let it hold you back in, am I too old to start a career in IT? Revealing the key to success. This week's TEH podcast, Gary and I discussed a number of doing things differently. For example, Gary discussed how he was using some online storage services like Dropbox and Google Drive a little differently than the more common usage we're all used to. I discussed how I stepped away from Facebook a little bit and how I'm quote unquote using it differently, a technique that I suspect could help many people. That's all in TEH 103, back and forth with Dropbox, Taming Facebook, Robot Dogs, and more fun TV shows. I don't always mention my personal blog every week, but this week it actually ties into what I discussed on the TEH podcast, that being the fact that I'm stepping away from the personal side of Facebook for a while. I discussed the reasons why and what I'm doing instead to remain in touch with some of the Facebook pages and groups that remain important to me. That's my personal blog, How I'm Stepping Away from Facebook. That's all in Confident Computing number 814, What to Do with an Old Computer You've Been Given, What I Did with Mine. Hope you find it helpful, maybe even a little entertaining. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is AskLeo.com.